Good afternoon, grade 12. I hope you have enjoyed the motivational talk that you were given by Mr. Chavalala and that you have learned that actually mathematical literacy is a very worthwhile subject that we can use in a lot of places. This afternoon, I'm going to do with you basic skills that we use when we, uh, when we do mathematical literacy. This basic skills may seem easy and it may seem maybe a waste of time to do them. But believe me, if they are not in place, you are going to have a very difficult time to do the other topics in mathematical literacy. So let's start right away. I'm first of all going to talk to you about the various formats that we can get some numbers in. You will see I have written for you here already on the page a half which is the fraction form, a decimal, which is 0, 0,5, the percentage form, and then how we will say it in the English language. Let us just go back and see what is fractions about. Many learners are very afraid of fractions, while actually it's very easy to deal with them. These fractions, if we can visualize them or see them for what they are, you will see that it's so easy to work with them. Look at this circle I'm showing you. This circle is presenting a whole, like a whole cake or a whole pizza or something that you want to eat. Now say for instance you want to share this pizza, this one pizza or this one cake between you and another friend. In other words, you're going to chop it up into two pieces. Now when we chop it up into two pieces, we can do it in any way. It can be sliced in this way, it can be sliced like that, it doesn't matter. As long as at the end of the day you end up with two pieces which are exactly equal to each other, like that, okay, or like that. Now let us talk about this half. When we say we have a half of something, another way of saying it is to present it as a decimal number. The decimal number, it is easy to get it if you have your calculator with you. Let me show you. If you have um, the half, and you simply press in 1 divided by 2, you will see that it gives you the fr a fraction on the screen. Now the vice versa is also uh, true. If I have the point 0.5, and I divide it by um, 10. No. Let's go to the calculator and see if we can uh, change this from one form into another. If we have a half and you want to know what the decimal form is, what you can simply do is take your calculator and press 1, divide by 2 on the calculator. This ST button, let me show you, there, if I press it, it will move between the formats of a fraction and a decimal number. So press it and aha, 0, 0,5 is your decimal number. If I want to present it now as a percentage, I want to express this half, this half that, I'm show, that I've showed you here, I want to express it as a percentage. Then I'm going to present it as a fraction of a hundred. So if I'm doing that, I'm going to say, if my whole, my whole is 100, half of that, if my whole is 100, half of that whole will be my 50%. Now, if we are going to do this mathematically, it's very easy. You have seen that we can press on the calculator, 1, divide by 2, to get the decimal number. If I move from my decimal number to my percentage, what I do is I multiply by 100. And if you want to know how is it that we are going to call it or how is it that you will find it in your word problems, they will refer to something as being a half. The picture I have shown you, it is a full one. There's one full one that I have taken and I have split it into two parts. Just again, I'm going to show you. A half is exactly the same as 0, 0,5, as 50%, or if we draw the picture, it will look like this. Any 
one of these formats that you see in the examination, they all mean the same thing. It means that you have taken half of something. Let's look at the next one. The next one is a quarter. Now a quarter is just as easy. If we go back to our full one, there is our cake again, the whole cake, and we cut this cake into four equal pieces. You must remember, you cannot be um, stingy, you must give everybody an equal piece. If we take, cut the cake into four equal pieces, we take the one cake and we cut it into four equal pieces, we get what we call quarters. Okay. How am I going to present quarters then in the decimal and in the percentage format? Again, the quarter, you are going to press on your calculator, 1 divided by 4. Toggle on the SD button and it will give you the 0, 0,25. Okay, if I want to see it as a percentage, I'm going to multiply with 100. Okay, that is 25%. And in this case, we are talking about quarters. Let me just lay them out for you. We have a quarter. Instead of saying a quarter, we can say 0, 0,25. Instead of saying 0, 0,25, we can say 25%. And we can also represent it with a picture if we want to. Learners of grade 12, all of these things mean the same thing. In the examination, questions can be asked for, uh, of you to work with certain things, but they can ask you to get a quarter, they can ask you to get 25%, they can even ask you to multiply it with 0.25. It all means the same thing. Okay. Let us just now think. Say, for instance, if we have something like 75%. Is it possible to write this 75% back into a decimal? Yes. What we are going to do is we are going to divide with 100. If we do that on the calculator, we get 75 divided by 100. There you see the fraction already. 3 over Four. And if we toggle the button, you will see it's 0, 0,75. All of these things meaning the same thing, meaning that we are taking three quarters of something. Okay, now I have something for you to also try. Just try for a moment. You will see I have written for you 20. Can you write it for me as it's 20%? Can you write it for me as a decimal? Can you write it for me as a fraction? And ultimately, what are we going to call this? Think for a moment, try it, and let's see what you get. How is it going? Are you getting it right? Yes. Let's check. The 20, we are going to divide it by 100. Then we see it is 1 over 5. Yes. And if I toggle the button, I see it's 0, 0,2. Now I have written it in the decimal format and in the fraction format. At the end of the day, what do we call this? We call it fifths. Okay, grade 12. Then here is another one that you can do for me. Here you will see I have written for you a third. What does a third mean? It means that you are taking a whole and that you are dividing it into three equal parts. Now I want you to please find for me the percentage, find for me the decimal, find for me the fraction. I'm giving you two minutes.
Okay, grade 12, how are you doing? We took a whole and we divided it into three equal pieces. I took a whole, I divided it into three equal pieces. Then I get what we call a third. The fraction that we have is therefore 1 over 3. Now if we want to write that in the decimal form, you are going to see that our answer looks a little bit different maybe from what we have done previously. Let me toggle it. Aha! Not comma three 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 three. We'll talk about that now. Let us multiply by hundred, and then if I put the uh, toggle the SD button, you will see that my percentage is thirty three comma three 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 again. Okay, just to show you the picture, again I've got my circle. I'm dividing it into three equal pieces. Then at the end of the day, I get what I call a third. Okay. This now brings us to our next thing that's extremely important for you to be able to do in mathematical literacy. And that is to round off numbers. 